Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about the usage of dip switches within the multisim. For it, first of all, you need to click on our place basic. Then here we have a lot of options, but we will click on the switch option. Then we have a lot of dip switches here like uh, 10 switch dip switch and then simple binary switch and then 3 bit switch and 4 bit so we will take the our 4 bit switch okay now this is our switch now we need to take the lamps because in order to see the operation of dip switches we need some element to be on or off so we will we need to go to all groups and we will write lamp we will go for lamp virtual now we will take four lamps Okay now, okay now we need to combine all the right hand side of the lamps with each other. Then okay now. Okay now. Now all the rest of the pins are connected to the corresponding switch. Uh, above uh, to the corresponding switches. Okay now we need to connect the ground on the right hand side of the lamps. So we will take ground and connect it like that. Okay. Okay, now we need to do one thing that we will combine all the or delete it out. We, we will take our uh, VCC. Okay, VCC is actually 5 volt. Can we change it to VDD? Or we can go for simple DC power. Everything is going to work for us, okay? Okay, like this and okay. Now we need to connect. Okay, now with this and this and this. Like this. Now our circuit is nearly completed. We just need to do one thing that we will change the voltages to 13 volt. Uh, we are just doing it because we want to see the uh, lamp in bright state. 12 volt is uh, not uh, make a huge glow, so we need a big glow for our observation. So we will run this circuit now. Okay, now. First, we will our you we will use our first switch, and you can see that our first lamp is on. Then this, and our second lamp is on. Then this, and our third lamp is on, and this one. We can make any lamp if we want. So hopefully, you got the concept that how we can use the dip switches for any element within the multisim. So don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for visiting our channel.